Welcome to the Windows Computers and Technology channel and um, one of the things that is interesting in Windows 11 is the new sounds that they actually have uh, done for Windows. So you know if you're used to the startup sound of Windows or to uh, Windows 10 or the different uh, Windows 10 sounds that we have depending you know plugging or unplugging USB devices and so on. Windows 11 has a new kind of softer sounds. I don't know. They, it's as if they uh, didn't want to have some like audio aggression or something. You know, if you remember the good old days, there were some like you know really more harsh sounds, you know, like the da da that was in Windows 3, I believe, and and Windows 95 had this like really harsh, you know. Uh, sound when when a, a program crashed or something happened, um, and things went softer as time went by. So uh, to have these sounds, you have to go to yes, even though we're in Windows 11, the good old control panel, which is still there, and go into sound. And at the top, you have sounds, and this is where you have the different sounds of Windows. So uh, kind of interesting here. Uh, so let's see here, asterisk, calendar reminder, that's the notify calendar. Okay, critical stop, sounds like, okay, interesting, uh, device connect, so in a USB device, device disconnect, device fail to connect, okay. It is softer. I don't know. I don't know what to, um, to make of it, though. Um, this is kind of funny when you think about it. That they, you know, they, 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 they do these system sounds and stuff, and it's like, yeah, okay, huh? What is this? Oh, this is Windows speech recognition stuff like that when it's on or off. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So anyways, different little sounds from the Windows defaults that are here and that you can tweak of course. A lot of uh a lot of the sounds can be tweaked for your own sounds that you want. Uh this is kind of uh, an interesting side of it. Um of course there's the uh famous a lot of people talking about the famous uh Windows wallpapers that are now in this version. Uh, there's not a lot of them. Maybe there's going to be more when we get to the official um, the official version. Uh, but uh, for now, it's uh, the one that I, by default, there's this one here. Uh, this is, I think, the default that is installed when you don't choose anything. Uh, they are kind of cute, but um, I mean, you know, not necessarily what I would choose. The one I like the most right now, so there's this one here. We're just going to check. So, uh, here we go. We have, yeah, that's not bad. Seems very fake, but yeah, okay. I think the best is really this one here. Because this is the one that I found to be the most interesting for me. So, start at sounds, new wallpapers. Kind of interesting to see the differences and see what else honestly i'm not a static wallpaper guy that you know has the same wallpaper for years i'll probably go back into the settings and go back into you know getting uh online themes like i used to um it probably does support this let's go here to see uh personalization um yeah the um so this is uh Background, yeah. Picture, fill. Well, there's a there's not a lot of uh, getting new wallpapers every day from Microsoft till from the web. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are missing. Um, there's no there's no tweaking in here of. Uh, oh, here we go. Teams, get more themes in the Microsoft Store. They have Windows Light. They have Windows Dark. Glow is for images, apparently. That is interesting. 
So if I go to Windows Dark, look at that, it adjusts. This is one image. This is a different feel. Well, look at that. That, that does feel different. Huh, kind of interesting to see these things. It's interesting to see that I just noticed that Glow is for images. So if Glow is for images, that means we go here. Can I display the next one? Uh, next background. Oh, look at that. Next background. Okay, and different colors. Okay. Okay, and those, so those are the default stuff that comes with your system. Kind of interesting to see this. Um, so, interesting to see also, like for example, here's a bug. Settings. It has a hard time kind of showing me the, sometimes going back into settings or a window. Huh, and they have one called Flow, which is here. Capture motion is interesting. Capture in motion. And what about this one? Capture in motion. Next. Okay. Very intriguing. Youch. Okay. So anyways, interesting to see the little tweaks and things that are in here, but I will probably go back to some of you know my regular download of themes uh, to uh, to uh, check it out and uh, the new sounds and all. And probably there will be more stuff coming up um, in the uh, official build this fall. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.